joins us from New York. Good evening, Susan. Good evening to you, Brett. To Apple's warning signals that global business is under threat from the coronavirus. America's largest company, a stock market heavyweight, and one of the world's most widely held stocks took down global stock markets along with it today. Apple says the coronavirus has closed down factories and kept consumers away in China, and that's why it will not make as many sales as expected. Apple may be more exposed to China than most, with China putting together more than half of all iPhones and representing a fifth of Apple sales, but the White House warns coronavirus will have an effect at some point. We don't see Apple as, as, the, as the norm. What you would begin to expect uh, from China is portions of the supply chain f across different sectors might mm -hmm. experience bottlenecks. Uh, that could lead to some uh, slowdowns or uh, perhaps inflationary pressures. More than 175 companies have so far warned that coronavirus will hurt its sales and profit in the first few months of this year. Industries from technology, entertainment, food, travel, and clothing, the likes of Nike, McDonald's, Disney, Ford, and Delta, are just some of the names joining Apple and tempering down expectations, setting a negative impact from the coronavirus. But the outbreak could also cause a shift in the global economy. You had SARS. You have the African swine virus there. Now you have this. It's another risk factor that people need to take into account. So I think it will help to accelerate the return of jobs to North America. Most expect just a temporary impact from the coronavirus, with the U.S. government projecting a roughly four to eight billion dollar hit to the U.S. economy, at least in the first three months of this year. And as with SARS and other health epidemics, a steep and quick recovery is expected to follow. Brett, Susan, thank you. Justice.